Now at five, one man now charged with vehicular homicide after authorities say he hit a loaded school bus with a minivan, killing one child, injuring nearly two dozen others. Thanks for joining us at five. I'm Andrew Kinsey. Alanda is off tonight. It's been less than 36 hours since this deadly school bus crash outside of Dayton. And tonight, the question is what can be done to make sure those school bus rides are safer? Tintipi's Colin Dorsey looked into the rules surrounding school buses and past efforts to make them safer here in the state. He's live tonight from Columbus with what he's uncovered. Colin. That's right. The National Transportation Safety Board says these big yellow buses are the safest things on the road. However, yesterday's tragedy outside of Dayton certainly shows us there is some room to make them safer for our kids. Renewed calls for action when it comes to keeping our kids safe going to and from school. There were more than a thousand fatal crashes nationwide between 2011 and 2020 involving school buses. The big takeaway NTSB investigators came up with adding seat belts to school buses would help drop that number. As of 2023, there are just nine states that have some sort of seat belt requirement on school buses. Arkansas, California, Florida, Louisiana, Nevada, New Jersey, New York, Texas, and Iowa. Ohio is one of the 41 states not requiring them, despite calls from the Ohio PTA and others. Back in 2017, Columbus City Schools rolled out a prototype bus designed to be safer. It included things like seat belts, booster seats for smaller kids, and brighter lights. Since then, there have been more than 6,000 school bus crashes in the state. There's got to be some solution. Tim Berta somehow miraculously survived the Bluffton University charter bus crash in 2007. That crash left seven dead. The desperation, the hopelessness that I experienced, I would not wish on my worst enemy. It's been a long road to recovery for him, and Tuesday's school bus crash brings some of those memories back. He says seat belts sound like the easy solution, but it's more challenging than that. Yeah, seat belts make things safer, but I honestly don't know how, because how would you enforce that? Good luck trying to get 30 kids to put on seatbelts and keep them on. I don't know how that would happen. Now, I also heard from Senator Sherrod Brown today. He was integral in getting seatbelts put onto motor coaches and charter buses following that Bluffton University crash. Now, he tells me, quote, I will continue to be vigilant by working to pass into law additional school bus safety measures. That starts with equipping buses with seat belts, a common sense safety measure to protect kids that's long overdue. Reporting live, Colin Dorsey, 10TV News.